Hello and welcome to a quick Unity tutorial. Now in this video we're going to create infinite scrolling backgrounds which you can use in any of your 2D games. Now we're going to make it the simplest way and the fastest way. So let's get started. Now the very first thing you gotta do is select a background image that you're gonna scroll. So I'm using this image, this sky tile sprite image the sky tile sprite image. So whenever you import an image in Unity, first thing you have to note from the inspector is its texture type is selected as sprite 2D and UI by default. But we want to make it scroll. So in order to do that, we have to select the texture type as texture. So click here and select the texture. Now the next thing we have to do is from the wrap mode, it is selected as clamp. So we have to click here and select the repeat. So if we make it repeat, only then we can use as a repeating background. And once you have done that, make sure to click the apply button, otherwise the changes will not be saved. So click on the apply button. Now our sprite has been converted into a texture with repeat wrap mode. Now in order to show you the demo of the repeating background, first of all let me go ahead and click a, uh, create a quad here. So click on game object, 3D object, quad. So we have created a quad here. So let's go ahead and scale it up a bit so that it fits our background. From the X we are going to make it 20 and the Y we are going to make it 10. So I think this should be good. Now our background looks uh, dark. So let's go ahead and click uh, create a light so that it looks good. So game object, light, directional light. Now it looks good. And let's rename our quad to background. Background. <clears throat> it's done. So what we want to do now is select the sprite or texture and drag and drop it onto your background. Now it has got the background. You can adjust the you can adjust the intensity of the light to make it more bright. Okay, I think this should be good. Now we have to create a script and add it to the background to make it scroll. So let's go and select background and from the inspector select add component new script and we're gonna, we're gonna name it scroll. So let's go and create an edit and let's open it. And so once we open the script it takes some time in MonoDevelop. So when you open the script, the first thing we want to do is here we want to create a public float variable with name speed. So what this will do, and we'll make it 0 0.5. So what it will do is it will it will just uh, take care of the speed by which our background is going to be moved and in the update we're going to create a vector to vector to and we're gonna name it offset vector to offset and we're gonna create a new vector to and here as the x component we're going to give time dot time asterisk our speed and for the y component we're going to give the value of zero so in this case, I want to move my background horizontally. So that is why I'm giving the value, this value in the X component. But if you want to move it in the vertical direction, you have to give the value in Y. So the next thing we want to do is select, uh, I mean write, render, render dot material dot men texture offset equals our offset. So what we have done here is we have created the renderer material and main texture offset. We have selected it and the value of it we have given our offset. So this offset will be changed with our time and it will be added to our main texture offset and our background will keep moving. So let's go to Unity and check it out. Oh I have made some error here uh, let's give let's make it F otherwise it is not gonna make it as float 
so once you have done that just go and click run and as you can see my background moves and here from the scroll speed you can also control the speed of the background if I increase it as you can see if I make it 1 the background will move faster if I make it 0 0.5 the background will move slower now let's go ahead and move it vertically now in order to make it vertically just remove just make the x component 0 and the y component the time the time asterisk our speed so let's go ahead and run it now if I run it as you can see now our background moves vertically okay so this is how we create infinite scrolling backgrounds now the best thing about this is the background isn't physically moving only the texture is wrapping around the background again and again now if I move to the 3d mode from 2d mode I can show you guys better as you can see the background isn't physically moving from here to here is it moving like that isn't it moving like that but the texture is wrapping around the background so giving an illusion of the infinite scrolling background so this is it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I have a lot of other unity tutorials so you guys just subscribe and like and share this video thank you very very much for watching see you in the next video